subscribe aim aim i and get the latest technological updates every day also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos hey guys welcome back to aim aim i so guys in this video we are going to learn about the hardening process so guys hardening means the transformation of austenitic structure into the martensitic structure so guys the austenitic gets converted into the martensite that is nothing but the internal structure change change in the internal structure so guys uh, in a formation of the martensite the austenite steels austenitic steels gets cooled than the critical cooling rate so austenite is get cooled than the critical cooling rate which is very important guys over here in this case so guys this image shows the hardening process and the stages in the case of hardening so guys the hardening consists of basically three stages the first one is the heating stage second one is holding at that particular temperature and then later one it is cooling so guys in the case of heating the steels are heated usually up to the steels are heated heating of the steels up to a particular temperature that is for hypoeutectoid steels that is 83 plus 50 degree celsius and for hyperuteoid steels that will be a1 plus 50 degree celsius so guys over here a3 and the a1 are the critical cooling lines as we have seen in our iron carbide equi equilibrium diagram the a3 line represents this 910 degree celsius that is the formation of the austenite austenite whereas the a1 represents 727 degree celsius okay that is the guys that is the another critical line so guys and what is this hypo and hyperuteoid steels so guys hypo means having the carbon percentage less than 0.8 that is considered as a hypoeutectoid steels whereas if the percentage of the carbon is more than 0.8 it is considered as a hyperuteoid steels okay guys so as shown in this particular image the hypo and hyperuteoid steels are usually heated above the plus 50 that is a3 and a1 so guys next one is the holding stage so guys the steels are held at a constant temperature okay for uh, for the formation of the homogeneous austenitic structure so guys the holding time is 1 hour for each 25 mm dia or thickness so guys in this case we have got this homogeneous austenitic structure which is nothing but the uniformity in carbon content in austenitic grains so guys after holding next one is the cooling stage so in the case of cooling the steel components are cooled and the rate of cooling so it is gets cooled at a cooling rate so the rate of cooling is just exceeding the critical cooling rate of the steel so guys in this case cooling stage the cooling is typically faster cooling okay so guys the in this case co cooling stage we have got this formation of the martensite so we have got over here martensitic structure guys which is normally at room temperature so guys the water is used as a quenching media over here in this case okay for in the case of plain carbon steel water is used whereas we can use the various grades of oil as a quenching media in case of alloy steels so various grades of oil in case of alloy steels okay. so the guys the next one is the purpose of hardening process so what is the main purpose of the hardening heat treatment so guys the first one is to increase the hardness of steel so guys the as we all know the hardness is the resistance to penetration so increase the hardness the next one is to increase the wear resistance of the steel so guys wear resistance shown in this case image and the third one is to increase the service life of the steel so guys 
in the formation of the martensite we have shown over here this is the microstructure which gets formed during the hardening process that is the formation of martensitic structure so guys uh, the last one is the disadvantages of hardening heat treatment so guys uh, whereas in this case the martensitic is formed okay means the hardening is carried out so due to hardening martensitic is formed due to hardening so heat treatment is hard and brittle heat treatment is hard and brittle hence it cannot be used in engineering applications so guys the formation is hard and brittle hence it is cannot be used in engineering application so in order to make suits to engineering application and our regular application the brittleness has to be reduced okay so brittleness has to be reduced so guys to in order to reduce that brittleness and in order to increase the tensile strength the further tempering process is always carried out after hardening process so guys we'll see this tempering process in detail in the next video so guys thank you for watching this video we have seen over here the hardening process and the stages in hardening we have seen the purpose of hardening heat treatment okay and we have also seen the disadvantages of hardening so guys thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel aim aim i